This video series, What to Expect as a New Entrant, a guide to running your trucking company during the first year, has been developed by Apex Capital to help you understand the policies and procedures that you must have in place in order to pass your safety audit and receive your permanent operating authority. Today we're talking with Regan Orman about insurance. Regan is Associate General Counsel at Apex Capital and she also leads the Apex Startup Program a program that's designed to help those interested in starting a trucking company get their operating authority. Before any trucking company goes into business, they need to make sure that they have motor carrier insurance on file. So before you begin your operations, you need to be working with an insurance company to get proof of that to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration because the FMCSA isn't even going to activate your DOT number until they get proof of that insurance on file. The government requires every motor carrier to have at least $750,000 in public liability insurance. That covers bodily injury, property damage, as well as environmental restoration. Now, depending on the type of commodity that you plan to haul, mainly hazardous materials, that $750,000 minimum is going to increase to $1 million or $5 million. I will note that the government doesn't require motor carriers to have cargo insurance on file, but it's highly recommended as some brokers, shippers, and other third parties require their business partners to have cargo insurance on file. The FMCSA isn't even going to activate a motor carrier's number until they have insurance on file. And your business customers aren't gonna work with you unless you have active authority. Now, the proof of insurance, it has to come directly from the insurance company to the FMCSA. It can't pass anybody's hands. But motor carrier insurance companies are really familiar with the process and they know what forms to send. Now, also, if your coverage lapses, the FMCSA is going to suspend your operating authority until they get current coverage on file. You have just watched one video in our series, What to Expect as a New Entrant, a Guide to Running Your Trucking Company During the First Year. Please see other videos in this series or download our white paper to learn more about being a new entrant, insurance, alcohol and drug testing, taxes, IFTA, safety, the driver qualification file, hours of service, the safety audit, and additional filings.